people do not know much about nuclear radiation. They cannot feel it, they cannot see it, they cannot smell it. Quite a few people assume that any amount of radiation can be harmful, potentially even deadly. However, we are living in a world uh, where we are exposed to natural radiation on a daily basis. RedWatch is an activity we started more than three years ago now here in Berkeley with the intention to measure radiation we could potentially associate with the releases at the Deiichi nuclear power plant in Fukushima. We were indeed able to find radiation three days after the incident that we could associate with releases of radioactivity in Fukushima. However, the amount of radiation we were able to find was really small, much smaller than the levels of radiation we are exposed to on a daily basis. So we have our air monitoring station on the top of Edgeway Hall at UC Berkeley. So this is our system where we collect the air and measure the radioactivity in the air and then we uh, uh, post the information right on our, our website. The new air monitoring system we have installed here in Edgebury is the only one in the world which allows us to continuously monitor the uh, radiation in air here in Berkeley and uh, provide that information from the measurements to the public in real time at our website. So this is the data that we collect from our air monitor that's on top of the roof. This is radioactivity that's in the air and around our system. So you can see that it varies quite a bit. So if we go out to something like a weekly view, um, you can see that there are low points of radioactivity, and that's mostly dependent upon weather conditions. How is the system going okay? We want to combine the science and the, uh, the service to the public to inform the public and educate the public about the world we're living in.